Hi there. This video is the next installment of Any tutorial series of Selenium C Sharp. In our previous video, we ran our first NUnit Selenium script over Lambda test platform. And in this video, we'll discuss how we can execute same test in parallel on multiple browsers with different browser versions and different operating system combinations, same time using powerful Lambda test platform features. Lambda test offers over 2000 plus real desktop devices, mobile viewports and operating system combinations on its cloud-based Selenium grid. And as you can see in the Lambda test platform dashboard, based on your subscription, there will be a subscribed limit of the test execution that you can run in parallel. It can be 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 and based upon the licensing model that you are in. So if the limit says 10, then we can run almost 10 different combinations of browsers, operating systems and versions in the Lambda test platform. Well, as that said, this time we are going to create a NUnit Selenium C Sharp combo to run parallel test execution on the Lambda test platform. So I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call this as parallel testing. We are going to almost write exactly the same operation, but this time we are going to be running the test on the parallel test execution. So for doing that, I'm just going to copy all the existing code. I'm going to paste it over here. I'm going to add the references and I'm going to change the constructor to parallel testing. And I'm going to add the references for the end unit and for the Chrome options. And because we are going to be running the test on different environments, so the test fixture cannot be just one like how we did in our earlier test like this just for chrome but this time we are going to be using almost four different combinations like safari version number 13 with mac os catalina we're going to run on the chrome on windows 10 and firefox on windows 10 and microsoft edge browser on windows 10 operating system and because we're going to be running on four different environments the hard-coded Chrome option needs to be changed to a dynamic browser options, something like this. As you can see, we have a method called as get browser options, which is going to return as the browser options as Chrome option or Firefox options or Edge options or Safari options based on the browser name that we are passing in. So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing while I'm going to call this particular method so that I can pass the browser name and that's going to return me the browser options which can then be used for the capability and you can see that the return type of this particular method is a dynamic type which means this can be of any type and will be resolved during runtime we're going to call the capability using the dynamic keyword as well so it is going to be capability is equal to get browser options and we're going to pass in the browser that we have actually obtained from this particular constructor using this particular test fixture. And now we have this particular browser and now we have the capability or the dynamic capability. But based on the type of browser that you choose, the additional capability parameter also changes. Because for the Safari and the Edge Chrome browser, you don't really have to pass the additional capability with is global environment as true. You don't really have to do that. And that has to be changed as well. So what does that mean is you need to create an if condition where you need to pass that particular additional capability option. So I'm going to be doing that by replacing the existing code from here to this code. As you can see, if the browser type is not equal to Safari and Microsoft Edge, then it is going to use this additional capability pretty much like how we did in our earlier video but for the otherwise you need to use this additional capability and you can see that we don't really pass the is global environment as true over here and as that said the capability is almost ready for us right now and now all we're going to do is we need to change the exception that we are getting from chrome options to the capability and the test is almost ready to run on parallel at the moment and this is the only change that we need to make and run them in parallel in any unit with c sharp and selenium and once i build the project this time you can see we have over four tests right now with different combinations of browsers and operating systems and before running the test we are also going to ensure that the test actually runs in parallel using n unit 
In order to do that, we actually need to set the parallelizable attribute of n unit as the parallel scope to either fixture or children or self, which you can do using the assembly option. So you can directly pass this assembly of the parallelizable and you can set the parallel scope to fixture or children or self based on your choice. But we are going to be choosing the fixture this time. The reason being we have different fixture to be executed and it is always better idea to choose the parallelizable attribute to run in parallel scope as fixtures. And we have almost everything ready right now. But before we actually execute that, we also need to make sure that we uniquely identify these tests on our Lambda test platform. So I'm going to change this to parallel browser testing as a capability and I'm going to pass the same thing over here as well. And once we have everything, we are pretty good to go. And now if I try to run this test and if I go to the Lambda test platform in our dashboard, you could see that we will have four live sessions because we are actually running four different browser combinations with different platforms at the moment. You can actually see them executing in the automations tab and you can directly go to the parallel browser testing that we are actually executing. And if I select that, it will show you all the different browser combinations which the test is actually executing in parallel. And you can see that currently the test has executed in Windows 10 and Firefox, Mac OS and Safari browsers, Windows 10 and Edge Chrome browser and Windows 10 and Chrome browser. And you can also see how the test is executing by clicking the video option. So this will show you the exact real-time video coming in for you during the execution, which is really, really handy and which is really, really cool for us to see how they are actually executing and performing the test in real time. And that is the power of Lambda test executing test in parallel in multiple different browser combination using Selenium's parallel execution. In case you have any questions or you require any further information, you can chat with the team. Or you can also drop us an email at support at lambdatest.com. We're here to help and we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our channel to stay on top of exciting features on your way. Happy testing!